So um, I wanted to make a quick video because I've done some back to school shopping so I wanted to make like a little back to school haul type thing and this is just what I have right now because this isn't obviously all I'm going to need since I'm in high school and teachers require different things and they don't send out a school supply list because high school, at least where I live, <laughs> my high school does not have a set supply list so you just kind of go based on memory of what you need and what you want. Um, so, yeah. Um, so some of this I got a couple days ago and a couple things I got today. Uh, most of my clothes, today, all my school supplies are actually from a couple days ago. Um, and this isn't everything because that would involve me dragging everything in and I don't want to. So first I have index cards because, and I, I rebuy these every year and I don't necessarily use them every year, but I like to have them um, because frequently I will use like one or two of them and then I'll lose the entire rest of the pack. Um, they'll get thrown out or something will happen and I like to have them just in case. That is basically it. Um, and I just bought the cheap Target brand because cheap Target. Okay. Um, then I got one of the giant packs of 50 mechanical pencils. They are interesting. I actually haven't seen them look like this before, um, but they're white and I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and I have them sitting in this, which are actually a makeup bag that I got a couple years ago, freshman year, before freshman year started, um, that I don't use for makeup unless I'm going somewhere, but it's pretty big. Um, but right now I'm holding this because, yeah, um, I got a bunch of like felt tip pens, uh, like six of them or seven of them, something like that, um, because I like them and I feel like they make grading paper look a little bit more professional because a lot of teachers have you grade your own paper, stuff like that. I got highlighters, I got four different highlighters, colors, um, so I'm pulling out two of everything and then I got the um, Ink Joy Paper Mate pens um, because I am in love with them. They actually do write really well um, and they make my handwriting look great. And I have horrible handwriting because fun fact, lefty. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. Um, next things. Next, I have my big binder. Um, so binder. Does it have a binder? It's a binder. Um, yeah. Every year I end up doing something different. I think last year I got, or not last year, I had two one inches and I used one for Spanish and I used one for history. This, or freshman year, I got a um, one and a half inch that I used for Spanish. This year I'm getting a two inch. I have a two-inch binder for all subjects, um, because, yeah, and I just got plain white because they're really overpowering, colors are overpowering, and I've got some things in it, um, I have, oh god, I have one notebook so far, um, I bought five of these, because they're 50 cents each, cheap, cheap things, because cheap things are fun, yay Target! Um, by the way, not sponsored by anybody to make this video, or else I would tell you. <coughs> um, then I have, in I got a pack of eight tab dividers, but I only need six because that's how many classes you have at my school. So I got six tab dividers in right now, and obviously in the first one I have the labels. One is out, um, because I was going to put them in, but then I realized it's kind of a smug fit. Um, and I forget, I don't know what my electives are and stuff like that, so I might even take one out, uh, depending on what's up. And then I've got just the loose leaf reinforced paper so I can do this and it's not gonna tear out, which is lovely. Um, uh, this year for history and Spanish, I fell in love with having reinforced paper because having normal, just the normal loose leaf paper, it's cheaper, yes, but um, <clears throat> so much of it ends up getting torn, like the first and last sheets in every stack end up like tearing out 
and I hate that and I like my papers to stay in order and stuff like that um so yeah that's that's kind of how I'm feeling then I have my backpack and I am in love with it this is my favorite color right now um I am in love with this color absolutely 100% die for it. Um, I have a couple shirts in that color. Actually, the shirt that I'm wearing in my um, video where I talk about dual enrollment and AP uh, classes, I'm wearing a shirt that's about this color. Um, but I die for this and I got it from Tilly's today. <coughs> I made a quick run there um, because we were out at the Tanger outlet and Driving home, we passed Tilly's, so I was like, why don't we just stop in and get a backpack? Because I didn't see anything I liked at Kohl's, and we made a late night Kohl's run, and I knew the cashier, and it was awkward, so no. Um, and I knew him, and it wasn't like, just like, a friendly, I knew him, it was like, I knew him. He didn't really know me, though, because the first time I saw him, I was a freshman, and then I sat across from him in a class last year. But obviously he was a senior, now he's graduated. I'm like, this is a no, nope, I don't wanna, no. Cause that's awkward for both parties. Well, let's be honest here. Um, so, yeah, plus I just didn't see anything that I wanted. Um, so we got home, we're just like, okay, we'll just go to Tilly's um, at a later date. So I went to Tilly, I went on the website to look at backpacks because they have so many options. It's just like, I don't want to stand there staring at a wall for like an hour going, yeah, no, uh, eh, eh, eh. Um, because then I would completely miss the one backpack that I would have enjoyed. Uh, so I went online the other night and I was scrolling through and I saw that. This was the first option on the website that I saw. I was like, I am in love with it. I need it. I need it for the year, so I got it. Hey. Um, and then since we're at the outlets, we also did some shopping. Um, so we went to the Lucky Outlet, um, and the woman there was so friendly, which was great. Um, cause I hadn't tried on any of their jeans before and I cuffed them in the store, um, because they're a little bit long for me, um, but apparently I couldn't get away with having just a normal leg, so I went with it. Um, I have a fun story about this, so she asked me, uh, are you familiar with the sizing or what size are you or whatever, and I said eight. And I realized as I was in the dressing room, oh crap, wait, normally I'm a ten. So this is gonna suck. Um, Cause these aren't gonna fit at all. B, she was saying she dropped down to a six because of the stretch in the pants. Um, and I was like, these aren't going to fit me and they fit. So I bought size six pants, size six pants. And yeah, so what are you? So I got mid-rise, um, straight legs. I forget what style they are. What style are you? You can't too. Sweet and straight. Six. What is your style? I need to remove that. Machine mm, wash cold. Don't dry though. Thank you for being normal. Um, so I don't really know what the style is because I can't see it listed anywhere, but these, this pair looks like this, super cute, kind of in love with it, not gonna lie. Um, they're so comfortable and they're so light, it was just majestic. I was, I fell in love when I put these pants on. Um, and then she showed me a lighter wash too and we decided to get both because apparently you buy two and you save 40. So these are also straight leg um, and mid rise. So then there was this pair. 
which is a lighter wash. It's not a super light wash, but it is a different wash. And mom liked these ones, and I like the other one. And she was like, do you want both? And I was like, I kind of do. Because, you know, she's like, apparently you save like 40 bucks if you buy two pairs. And that's like another pair of jeans. So we're just going to get both. So yeah. And then we went to Steve Madden. We went to Steve Madden first, actually. Uh, Lucky was on the way. I wasn't actually planning on getting anything at Lucky either. Okay. And then I got a couple pairs of shoes at Steve Madden because they had an amazing sale. So I got these sandals that I kind of totally adore. They are super cute and super comfortable. Um, So yeah, they have the, I don't know what you would call this in the back, but it looks like a rib cage. Um, I love the buckle and how it's kind of studded and bigger. They've got one stud there. It's T-strap. Can't beat a T-strap. Um, and the color is actually really great. For some reason, I was just kind of attracting the brown shoes to me today. Um, so these are Serenite. Or Serenity, probably. I'm gonna go with Serenity. I don't know what I was trying to say, but it's not Serenity. Um, I just don't know. Serenite? I, I don't know. Um, but these are adorable and comfortable, and I would put them on, but that would involve me putting work into a video. <laughs> and you know how much I love to do that. Um, and then we were only, I was only going to get these one pair, but, and then I saw these boots that were absolutely adorable. I forget what they were called. Um, but they were just probably a little bit above ankle, um, booties and they had like a crochet pattern on the side of the leather and I was in love with them. Like I had to try them on, put them on my foot, it looked like I was wearing clam shoes. So yeah, but the woman there was really nice, who was helping us, or technically she was really kind of following us, which was a little off-putting at first, but she ended up being really nice, and she was the reason I got these shoes. Um, um, but she was like, we have something kind of similar to that. It's actually on sale. Um, and I think they're really cute. So this was before I tried on the clown shoes. Um, but she was like, so... And she asked me if I want to try them on. I was kind of skeptical at first, and then I said, sure, why not? What harm can it do? Um, so I'm going to actually try this one up, though, because... Why not? Um, I got these adorable booties. Um, I got them in a size bigger than what I normally get, but with socks and everything that I'll probably wear with them. Yeah. So these hit right at the ankle. Um, the color is actually surprisingly wonderful. Um, and I think they're gonna go great with my jeans. But I kind of adore them. They're gonna go good with, like, everything. Um, it's not real suede, but they feel like suede. The soles are nice. There's not a lot of traction, but you don't expect that when you get fashion shoes, really. Um, I kind of immediately fell in love with them when I put them on, though, which is a good sign. Um, I had a wonderful shopping day. I had a great shopping day. Um, and I would put in things with the shoes, but I have hairy legs right now because I haven't shaved my legs because I didn't have time to do that this morning, and... Um, but I'll put up the big update video later. I haven't even made it yet. Um, that's just kind of how my last month and a half since I've really made a video for you guys has been. It's been longer than that. Um, but I have a bunch to talk about, so. And then I have all the challenges with Caitlin to put up and the one day that we did a vlog. But that's about it. So yeah. Bye! I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you.